we're entering the top 10 Astrosaurs characters, as chosen by me, Steve Cole, from 20 Astrosaurs books. At number 10, from the twist of time, we have the Guardian of the Time Water, a horrific creature guarding the most dangerous secret in the universe. It lives in a lake of very strange liquid, time water, and the effects it has on anyone who ventures too close are, well, they need to be read about to be believed. The Guardian of the Time Water at number 10. At number 9, from the Seas of Doom, it's Myra, the uh, unusual Liopleurodon, living deep in the seas of Aqua Minor. Uh, he seems to have had a bump on the head and has lost his memory as to who he really is. The truth, when it emerges, is pretty frightening stuff, and Myra himself, in his crazy, loopy way, is uh, quite a fun character to write for. So he's there at number 9. At number 8, from the Forest of Evil, it's Leafa a uh, dinosaur farmer who is always giving himself curious nicknames, whether he's uh, don't like computers leafer, or running fast all the time leafer, or I'm in at number eight leafer, he's always giving himself a nickname, and he is indeed in at number eight leafer. At number seven, from book number seven, The Day of the Dino Droids, it's Attila the Atrocious. Yes, this Tuspletosaurus is truly atrocious, not just in his general attitude, his vile, nasty behaviour, his killer teeth and claws, but also in his dress sense. He wears really unpleasant bright silver shorts, uh, so bright he has to wear dark glasses to even hide his own eyes from their glare. Uh, but this disco dancing devil is there at number seven. At number six, from the Robot Raiders, it's Wimvis, Iggy's very own brother. Yes, we had to wait 16 books to meet a relative of the Astrosaurs, but what a treat we got when dodgy builder Wimvis makes it to the uh, strange moon of Mecta and seemingly causes havoc on Mecta City, this amazing city of robots. Uh, but is he being framed? Or can he really be guilty of sabotage? Well, that's what the Astrosaurs have to find out, and what you can find out too, if you read The Robot Raiders.